one thing that's often overlooked in factoring is that sometimes you can just take something out. And, and I would start there. You can take out a 25 here. Now, we're not solving for anything, so you don't have to divide by 25. But if you're factoring, it needs to be part of your answer. You take out the 25, you have 1 minus 4x squared. Those are both perfect squares. So I can factor those to conjugates. 25, and then in my parentheses, I have a 1 plus 2x and a 1 minus 2x. Now, difference of two perfect squares factored to conjugates. This is something like that. I can take um, the two perfect squares and say, okay, the square root of both of them, this is 12x plus 6y, uh, and a 12x minus 6y. Now, that's actually not completely factored um, because I can take some stuff out of here. Uh, and that's okay. If I take out a 36 from both of these things, I believe I've got a 9 left over over here. 9 times 6 is, uh, is uh, yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Yeah, if I take out a 36. Uh, Attention students, Greg Golden, yeah. please report to the guidance office. Greg Golden. 